All right, guys. Welcome to React and Chill. You know what this channel's all about. I like to react. I like to chill. Here we're going to be chilling, talking about a favorite song of mine off of the Judgment Day album. I really like this song. You may like this song quite a bit, too. I'm talking Wicked Witch. You don't like it? Let me tell you why I do like it. Maybe it'll win you over. I was a little cheesy. I know what part you're talking about, and I love that part. Right from the beginning, this song let you know what it's going to be. It's going to be a fun power metal ride. That build up, that build up right in the very beginning, that intro, the way it sets up for the main delivery, the just the main riff, that main melodic riff that you hear throughout the song. It sounds great. It sounds magical even. And what makes it so effective is Haruna's momentum on the drumming. Oh, it was so powerful. So good. It's like the rhythm, the bass, the drums, and uh, the rhythm of the guitar. It creates this musically, this sound as if like, like you could hear like a horse galloping, right? A horse run, running. In my mind's eye, when I listen to Wicked Witch, what I see is a woman on horseback running to the to the woods. What's chasing her? You got some knights, okay? You got you got knights on horseback, and they're going. That's kind of redundant. Knights on horseback. I mean, a knight would have a horse. Anyway, you know what I'm saying? Uh, chasing her, hunting down the wicked witch, but we're rooting for her, okay? <laughs> like, I just love the way that sounds, and it's so rich there. Like, okay, the, with the, the guitar phrasing, what it does in the song, the way it, it ascends, and then it kind of goes back down on the notes on this nice, like, it kind of travels. Like, like you can, oh, I, I, like, I call this musically kind of like a lasso, what it does. Like, uh, the way the notes are structured and uh, the way they just sound when you hear them, it's like it wraps you up and ensnares you. And it enhances you in, in some way. I don't know how. I mean, but that's what I feel when I hear Wicked Witch. I really like it. I think it's one of my favorite songs of the album. And this album has a lot of good songs on it. Okay. Wicked Witch. Now, the part, obviously, the solos are really good. Asami's singing is fantastic in this song. I love it. But let's talk about the cheese part. Let's just jump into that real fast, huh? The and the last and the last verse, last chorus, you hear these horns, these trumpets, and I love it. When people hear it, other reactors tend to say journey. The band journey. Yeah. I totally know what you mean. And guess what? Journey's awesome. And guess what? Wait, that music's kind of before me. Like, all right, I'm not very familiar with Journey, but when I do hear them, I do like them. But setting, setting that aside, I don't care if it sounds like Journey at that part. I don't care. Those horns, they sound great. And they sound great with that song. They fit that melody. Because up until that point in that song, you got you got a fantastic power metal song that's definitely set musically and lyrically in a fantasy world where a witch is running away from something. You have a damsel in distress. Hey. And what happens when you add those horns there is it just makes it better. It, it's like, it, does the song need it? No. But is it nice bonus? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it, it definitely is. It definitely is. It's like, you know, the drink you get at a bar, does it really need that garnish? Does it really need that lime, that cherry? Whatever it is. No, it doesn't it doesn't need that. 
necessarily, but it does make it better. Yeah, Wicked Witch, just a powerful song. I really enjoy it. And um, yeah, I'm curious what you guys think of it. If you feel the same way as I do. And with that said, you guys take it easy and have a good one.